PvPers declared war on Bethesda and they are really upset about the numerous PvP nerfs that happened in the past months. We also got details about new changes coming with update 20 and there are new feature delays. It's news time. Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. The world is living a social revolution right now, and despite the ongoing anti-racism protests and pandemic, life must go on. It always does. Anyway, Bethesda has already published a long statement supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. On the other hand, some PvP communities declared war on Bethesda for their constant devaluation of PvP features, including an upcoming major change for PvP in Adventure Mode. Moreover, we have new delays for upcoming features, such as the legendary perk system and lots of new changes have been added to the PTS as part of the upcoming Update 20. Now, the purveyor is selling mysterious boxes again, and players want to pay more script for the gear type they want. Let me present you another batch of fresh news. Let's start. Okay, I'm sure you heard rumors about certain PvP groups who are very angry at Bethesda, and they started a movement to crash Fallout 76 servers as a form of protest. The initial plan was to create a mass server crash last Thursday, going throughout the entire weekend, but nothing much seems to have happened so far. I've been playing every day and I did not find any server crash to be honest with you. I have seen some footage of players trying to crash servers with known griefing methods, such as the shooting hacked weapons and shooting mini nukes non-stop. Now, this does create some lag and especially lags the nearby players, but I'm not sure if it can crash the servers. I've had this done to me a few times in the past by griefers and my game was just laggy. If you fast travel somewhere else, the lag will be gone. So I'm not sure they were able to do what they initially planned to crush the servers. Either way, some groups of PvPers are really upset and frustrated with the lack of importance Bethesda gives to PvP. They removed the survival mode first, the nuclear winter lacks an anti-cheat system and hackers do as they please, which prevents people from having a somewhat competitive fear environment for PvP. And in adventure mode, PvP is close to impossible. Things are about to get even worse with Update 20, as you are about to find out in the next news. That's why these groups decided to start a radical movement, which seems to have ended already. Even though I disagree with their methods, the message got viral and they got thousands of players talking and discussing the PvP matter. Maybe Bethesda will listen to this specific feedback and improve PvP in upcoming patches. One can hope, right? Now, you surely know patch 20 is coming soonish. There is no fixed date yet, but it will come live in the following weeks. Besides the score system and the public team's system, we are getting dozens of improvement points as well as changes. One of the main changes is a PvP point that will prevent entire teams from getting flagged when just one member engages in PvP. This possibly means everyone has to initiate PvP in order to fight, in contrast with what we have right now, where everyone will get red if just one member engages into PvP. This is one of the reasons that made PvP groups rally against Bethesda, as explained in the previous news. Anyway, there are dozens of other patch notes coming, mostly minor quests and user interface changes as you can see. They are all live on the PTS right now for testing and I'm leaving the link to the patch notes below the video, feel free to check it out. Last Thursday, in an Inside the Vault article, Bethesda announced some more delays for new content. We got yet another delay for the Legendary Perk system and the Colossal Problem event still needs more testing, apparently. As for the Legendary Perks, I think this was the right decision since the current system is way too grindy and would not please most players, in my opinion. It really needs some heavy adjustments or a rework. 
Thankfully, they decided to listen to the feedback and they are going to improve the system before it goes live, which will happen after patch 20 as expected. No surprise there, honestly. And as long as the final product is something decent, then what's one more delay, right? The new event featuring the Wendigo Colossus is also being postponed to a later date because Bethesda thinks it needs some more internal testing and improvements. Now, I did this event a couple of times and I didn't experience anything unusual, no bugs as well, which is a surprise, it's like wow. So they may have detected some major problem that we are not fully aware of. Otherwise, they would have released the event with patch 20, that's what makes sense, but it's not happening anymore as you know. So, both features should go live with patch 21, launching somewhere this summer. In the end, you might be wondering, what the heck is getting released with patch 20 then? If two of the highlight features got postponed, well, the public team system is getting released. I know it's not much, you are basically getting buffs for being part of a certain team type, and that's it. You can bond with teammates for a stronger buff, but there is no content to explore in that regard. We are also getting the score system, which will be some sort of reward season pass, with a free and a paid version as well. There are dozens and dozens of new items and cosmetics being added to the game with the score system, with a lot of rules as well, so it's something you will have to learn over time and get used to. Besides the two features, there are dozens and dozens of changes and improvement points as I mentioned before. You can check the link below with the PTS patch notes so you can have a detailed preview of what's coming with patch 20. Now, let's talk a little bit about a delicate topic. There are protests going on in the entire world to fight racism and police brutality, and Bethesda has shown what's their position regarding this new Black Lives Matter movement. I've seen a few comments saying Bethesda is racist, and I'm wondering if people even follow their social media, because they made an extensive post saying they do support the movement, and they are going forward with some internal changes to fight racial discrimination. I'm not going into too much detail here, and they released a four-page document with a lot of measures they intend to do, such as donating $250,000 to fight for racial justice, creating educational programs to promote awareness on the matter, and creating a diversity council to support employee-led groups. There are eight points in total, and it sounds like a wonderful start. Imagine if every corporate business would take such a step. Now, I know that theory is beautiful and it doesn't always mean it will come out of the paper and become a reality, however, it's a start and that's something the world desperately needs in order to change. We have to start somewhere, right? And small steps are the key to make big changes happen. In case you haven't noticed yet, there is a new Mysterious Pick event live since last Thursday and it's ending on Monday, June 15. As usual, you can buy mysterious boxes that can roll you basically any item in game, legendary one, as long as you have learned uh, respective plans, of course. It's really difficult to get anything you want, but hey, for olds, this event is always a blessing since it's a cheaper way to buy legendary boxes and potentially get something worth using or selling. For main characters though, this event is pretty useless, especially if you are still trying to craft Wastelanders gear, then please do yourself a favor and buy legendary modules instead. You need them, trust me. Talking about the mysterious pick, I've seen several posts with negative comments on the entire event. Players want more freedom of choice, they don't mind paying more scrap as long as they can choose at least the weapon category they want. Let's say you have a perception build. Now, as you surely know by now, it's almost impossible to get a handmade when you can get 50 other weapon types. It's the same for any other weapon. What if you want a legendary bow? Relying on luck 
is just not good enough anymore after almost two years of Fallout 76. There are also players claiming normal sales bring way more value to everyone than the mysterious pick event, since it at least allows you to select a main category, and I can't disagree with that. Maybe Bethesda thinks the true element of surprise is something that appeals to most players, when it doesn't seem to be that way. Well, legendary modules are expensive to get, and it seems like there is a new bug that could prevent you from getting this item open purchase. This actually happened to me last week, but I wasn't recording or paying too much attention, so I ended up thinking I didn't see correctly, or maybe I misclicked or something alike. I only realized this happened when I was actually trying to craft new secret agency um, limbs a few days later. So I wasn't sure what happened, but I did buy 10, and my script was gone, and the modules never reached my inventory. After seeing this post, I realized this is a new bug and it could happen again at any point. So it's probably better to buy small batches at once just in case this bug triggers. I mean, losing 2 or 3 modules is not as bad as losing 10. That's a lot of script in one go, just saying. It already happened to me, so I know I will be doing that next time. Hopefully the Prevere won't rip me off a second time. Do you remember that nasty bug where power armor pieces would randomly disappear from the frames? It happened just a few months ago and Bethesda said they had fixed it. Well, this bug could be back again. It's not 100% sure, but recent player reports suggest that some players have been losing their power armor pieces again leaving them inside naked frames. I also have noticed something else, when I spawn my power armor, sometimes the frame spawns naked, like there's nothing inside, except when I look inside the frame, my pieces are there. But that's a sign that something is not working too well in that regard. I can't give you much advice on this one, all I can say is best not to use it if you have a rare one such as the Strangler Heart or the Secret Agency Power Armor, best to run around with something you can craft easily. Other than that, I really hope it doesn't happen to you guys, it's a real hassle and nobody deserves to lose weeks or months of work. Lastly, we have a new batch of data mined items joining Fallout 76 in the upcoming months. It seems to be more Atomic Shop and Score Cosmetics, this time featuring lots of parrots. Uh, don't ask me, someone at Bethesda clearly thought we were lacking Barrett diversity, and this is the result. Barrett's of all colors and featuring all sorts of symbols, just for you. If you ever wanted to become a Barrett user, then do not worry, your dreams will become true very, very soon. At least we have a few factions like Vault 76 and the Enclave. Anyhow, there's also some new masks coming along, such as the Jason Black mask and some sort of aviation mask helmet. There are also two new outfits in which one of them fits the helmet I just presented a few ago. It looks like a set. Next, we have a new skin for the Power Armor Jetpack with propellers. It looks really cute and funny at the same time. There is one more Power Armor skin coming as well, just so you don't feel like you are limited, you know, because we are not getting dozens and dozens of Power Armor skins already. Hmm? There is one more, and that's fine, I guess. There is also a military pip boy skin with a US flag on it and a really awesome rifle skin with lots of details. I can see this one becoming a trend. Lastly, we have some more camp items such as a new sign saying good evening and a new armor bench with a golden color. It looks like new content is slowly going to be added to the game after the Wastelanders DLC. We have a very promising roadmap, but it seems like Bethesda will take their time to properly test things. Only time will tell if the delays are worth it or not. One thing is for sure though, delays are most likely going to keep happening. 
What do you guys think about today's news? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I am Marta Branco, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. As usual, you can support my content even further by becoming a member or a patron. The links are always below the video. Once again, thank you for the support and I will see you all very soon in the next one. Until then, take care, adios, bye bye!